Our next home has been cured of its rundown past, but remodeling took a whole lot more than patience. The whole place looked like something out of an Alfred Hitchcock film. The small village of Washington, North Carolina has a proud history. It was established in the same year as the United States, 1776. And for natives Beth and Chris Collier, preserving a piece of their hometown's past became a mission of mercy. I'm Chris Collier. I'm Beth Collier, and welcome to our home. Beth and Chris live in what was originally Talo Hospital. It was built around World War I after a fire destroyed the town's original wooden infirmary. The three-story institution sat empty for nearly a decade before the Colliers checked in to making it their home. No one saw beyond the boarded up windows. So we really took it to heart to move into this building and to restore it. Chris and Beth were dedicated to reviving this landmark, but their procedure got off to a scary start. The whole place looked like something out of an Alfred Hitchcock film. Just, it was as if somebody just walked out and left everything there. And the solid structure didn't allow for a flexible floor plan. The low bearing walls dictated the way we laid out the space, unless we wanted to spend a fortune trying to, you know, open up walls and things like that. Throughout the house, the Colliers decided to expose the beams and work within the bones of the original building. Beth spent two months acid washing the floors after chiseling away all the old tiles. Partition walls were removed, but the indentations on the floor were left in place, and the windows had to be reglazed, all 72 of them. Two years of work turned the building into a warm and inviting home for their family. On the ground floor sits Beth's design office, where she greets clients to discuss their needs, and they all arrive through the old ambulance bay. So they would back up to the hospital, open the doors, and bring the people in. We have an old Otis elevator that they would put the gurneys on and rush them to the third floor to the operating room. Up the stairs on the second floor is the family's living space. Visitors are greeted by a striking red foyer, which leads to the living room and kitchen, formerly rows of small patient rooms. This is our living room. It was initially uh, like a patient room, and then over here was the nurse's station. Uh, you can tell by the short window, they had desks underneath the short window there. Next to the kitchen is the original central hall, which now connects a bathroom, utility room, and den. Our family room is the birthing room, and so we've had many of people in our town say, oh, well, I can tell you exactly where I had my baby. Returning through the foyer are two bedrooms connected by a large modern bathroom decorated with some of the hospital's original mirrors. On the third floor, Beth and Chris use the open space to house their furniture designs. The original operating room now stands in as a photo studio. Down the hall, Beth and Chris's staff enjoy the natural light of a corner room to paint. The only unaltered space in the building is an old bathroom, but the Colliers have important plans for its future. Our youngest son, Beck, is autistic and just turned 14. So as he ages, we would like to take part of the third floor space and, and turn it into a, a residential unit for him, some place that he can be on his own, but yet be still with us as well. Giving this place of healing their own brand of TLC has been the best medicine for the Colliers and their neighbors in Washington. It's amazing how many people this place has affected in our community.